It's the one sound airport officials hope they never hear. The emergency siren means one thing, a plane is down. Pigeon 2 is responding to Bull Airport Alert 3. The drill is dubbed Operation Broken Wing and tests the airport's command, control, and response and recovery. The drill is mandated by the FAA and involves a host of first responders and medical personnel. Our firemen, Tupelo firemen, uh, police department, uh, we have uh, North Mississippi Medical Center, ambulance responses. For this scenario, a chartered 737 makes a hard landing which causes a partial landing gear collapse. First responders must deal with the small fire and also safely evacuate 33 passengers and crew. Some are walking wounded, others critically injured, and there are eight fatalities. I think my arms broke. <laughs> Nursing students from Itawamba Community College portrayed victims and caregivers. I am a 70 year old woman who had a heart attack. I am a non English speaking Japanese exchange student that is here to go to a football game. And you were on the plane and it had a hard landing? Yes. And how'd it go? Um, as you can tell by my face, rather rough. <laughs> Participants say the full-scale drill helps everyone involved be better prepared when tragedy strikes. This can help us to respond in a timely manner and it can help the firemen do what they need to do in a timely manner also. It's a good practice for us because we always practice in the hospital and doctor's office. So this gives us an opportunity to see what it would be like out in the field. Overall, organizers say things went smoothly. There were a few glitches. There was an issue with water supply and water pressure, and also a location for a unified command post. All that will be reviewed and evaluated, and eventually an emergency plan will be submitted to the FAA for approval. At the Tupelo Regional Airport, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.